Good evening. Time for long dark. Uh, let's hop into survival mode. And let's uh, let's catch up. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so yesterday we made our way all the way from Timberwolf or no, from Pleasant Valley to here. So now, I can't see on the map, we need to get from here, which is Coastal Highway, to Mystery Lake and Forlorn Muskeg. That's the direction I want to go with the forge. I would like to stop at the dam and get some some scrap metal. Okay, we have some quite a decent amount of food. Don't have too many torches, but I think that's okay. So now the real question for me is do I bring this these deer hides and guts with for boots? Or do I leave them here? Uh, I think for now I'll just leave them and move on. Maybe we can come back. Let's get out of here. Hopefully the weather isn't too horrific. Yeah, it's alright. Okay, so we're going to make our way to the uh, Bear Camp, Bear Creek Campground, uh, where there are another two deer carcasses we can harvest. <clears throat> and then we're going to make our way to Ravine. Well, hopefully the weather chills out and we can actually travel. That'll be nice. But I won't get my hopes up. thought there would be, well there was a, a corpse here. Maybe I'm mistaken. it looking as bad as it bad as it does it's not actually very cold nobody needs this anymore So in some runs this is where you would find the heavy hammer, if you have not already.
wonder what that is. Is it a deer? Is it a person? Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Seventy four per cent. Wow. That's a good one. And it still has a chance of giving us food poisoning, can you believe? That's intense, right? Now let's have a quick peek here. Just keep our eyes peeled for the wolves. Wolves. And it is a human corpse. Okay, come on. Hey, nice. That is very nice. Uh, I just want to have a look up here. I'm pretty sure that we can find a sapling on this little mound here. That would be useful to start collecting. Guess it is uh, one more. Okay, now we're going far. I, I was just blind. Here it is. That's what I was looking for. Perfect. This would be good to get down as soon as possible. I thought at least one of these would be actual, actual cattails. So harvestable plants, I mean. Okay, nice. At the fishing camp. Just quickly go through these houses. They usually don't contain too much, though. I'll take it. Oh wow, ninety percent! In celebration for how great this quality is, we'll just eat it immediately. Incredible! Don't see that very often, I think. Nice. Okay, it's in absolute terrible condition, but uh, not bad. We'll take it.
Okay, see what all the sticks we've been picking up and this little bit of food and stuff. We're over a carrying capacity. I don't think it's the end of the world. No, we will stop soon. This table always this. has this uh, hook on it. It's just very hidden. Just have a careful look. Maybe you'll see it as well in your run. Uh, but it's always there. So if you wanted to get to where we're going faster, you would go up here, past the little house that's just up here, but it's always broken on interloper. Uh, but we're going to go around today and go grab ourselves the deer carcass. This fog is perfect. Uh, and it's perfect because it means that there is no wind. Okay, we have to be real careful here of uh, the bear who likes to hang around these parts. And it does make it quite tricky as this is a narrow entrance and exit. And there's no clear way of avoiding him. pop up here and go get ourselves this deer which I'm quite sure is guaranteed I don't think I've ever had it not spawn hopefully we can access it from this side usually I run around uh, but I wanted to grab the cattails today come on Astrid you can do it yes Okay, not the end of the world. Uh, we will count ourselves a sprain for that. Oh, that doesn't even work. Oh, and another sapling, perfect. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's hope this lovely weather continues. It is really good. And we'll just, uh, for safety, we'll make the fire here between the tree and the deer. Come on, little fire. Hey. You got it. You got it. That didn't work. All right. One more try. You got it. While we wait, let's see if uh, this command has now fixed itself. Yeah, nice. Come on, little fire. And now it didn't really fix itself. <laughs> I uh, restarted the bot. Right, let's. <laughs> And the auto shoutouts are working, that's really good. Yeah, I just added my uh, self for a bit of a test. Right, so what are these crows on about? Let's have a look while that deer is thawing a little bit. Not sure what these are. Hey, look at that. Nice. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. Alright, so I'm just going to cook up everything, even though we're going to eat the deer meat. Uh, it's, no. Um, just to get our cooking level up, really. Uh, we can always keep these out. Yeah, even this crappy one. We'll just cook it and uh, maybe eat it before bed, maybe not eat it. Not sure. Doesn't really matter right now. We're doing pretty well on food. Okay, good. Almost there.
And we'll just use our hands. No need to ruin the hacksaw. I do realize that this uh, takes longer now, but it'll last longer afterwards, so it's worth it. to one liter per side. Uh, like that. And we'll grab one of these. I think the water should survive. Yeah, perfect. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, let's roll. Again, got to be careful of the bear. Oh, we can't sprint, and we do stink. So we really have to keep our ears peeled. Okay, so we can see the bones there. There is definitely a bear on the loose here.
pretty sure I hear the bear. Because of this fog, I cannot see him yet. That sucks, doesn't it? Okay, there he is. Okay, so I just want to lure him to the side. <clears throat> and then I want to walk around. Uh, so essentially I know that we're faster than this guy. And we're going to try and use that to our advantage. Yeah, come dude. You got it. That's a good bear. Okay. Not far enough, that should work. And then we're just gonna go around. Okay, good stuff. He'll probably still be on our trail for a bit, as we're injured and we're not that fast. But I'm sure it'll all work out. Okay, really cool. We're also grabbing all these cattails on the way. We're also grabbing some heads on the way for additional tinder. It's looking good. Looking good. Alright, so here is one of the first picnic tables. Which means our deer carcass is close. So this good weather, we'll pop down a fire here, yeah, like that. So I hope the bear is taking a bit of a nap now, it just gives us a moment to harvest this deer. Okay, do we have anything that we need to prepare? Not really, it's looking quite good. I guess we just need to give this guy a moment. 
we will do is just uh, drop one of these, drop one of these. And maybe we can have a look around here. Maybe there are some additional shrooms or rose hips or something else. Let's also harvest the shortcut route as we're going to take the long route around. Now I can see a bit further, I just hope it doesn't mean the wind picks up. Oh, not a, not a great one, but dinner is dinner. to eat one of these. Didn't run into the bear today here. That is really good. I mean we ran into him but we we avoid it. And that's great. It's 
Not up here, right? No, now we're gonna go behind the rock, but that's fine. It's a bit of a better route on the other side. So we're gonna have a bit of a nap up here at the rabbit grove. We'll eat something, drink something, have a nap, and then in the morning we'll continue. First things first, we're gonna drop everything that needs to cure. Right there. And we'll quickly have a look through here. Just see if there is anything of value. one and this one and this one great Okay, then we'll drink and we'll go to bed. Okay, great. That's looking amazing. Right, so from here it is a small trip up the creek to the top and then left and then into the ravine, which is a predator free area. Meaning, I think we can take this stinky stuff with us and uh, yeah, then this is free boots already. Just uh, lying here, waiting to cure. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. How overweight are we? Not too much. Uh, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> we have quite a lot of cattails now. That's great. Uh, we can actually leave this. Mm. Uh, it's still good for a nighttime snack if we need to, if we feel we're going to run into trouble. Alright, so we'll just have a flare out. Uh, but hopefully, we won't need to use it. Uh, I think 50 <laughs> is enough. Uh, I'm gonna leave these cattails here. Can't believe it. I'm leaving cattails. 
Yeah, that's a... Uh, feels like a new one. Alright, so I haven't run into a wolf up here before. Just gotta be careful. Okay, nice. Oh, I hear him, but he sounds quite far off. Okay. Uh, that's cool. It's a bit wrecked. Uh, but yeah, it's either repairable or it's free leather. In both of those cases, really cool. Okay, let's get out of this map. Okay, nice. And from here we're safe. Gotta warm up somehow. Uh, we'll take some cold damage. I don't think it's the end of the world. We're we're looking really good. Turn off auto walk for this little area. It's something I would never do. <laughs> yeah, walk across there, that seems completely insane. But luckily, Astrid is, is one tough cookie. Hmm. 
<laughs> snowing inside. <laughs> I guess this then counts as an outdoor area. Awesome, some free tea making ingredients. We're gonna head across, see if we can find ourselves one of these rabbits or both. And then we'll head to, uh, if the weather stays clear, to the first deer. Otherwise, we'll move on through to the cave and then come out for these deers at another time. Not convinced that this weather is going to stay like this. I heard this one before I saw him. Well, 50%. It's been standing outside for who knows how long. That's a really tough can. I'm impressed. through him. Oops. Okay. Let's quickly grab the mushrooms that are here and then go, go, go. quite overweight. Thank you. 
Hmm. I think I waited a bit long, but that's fine. We'll harvest these rabbits in here so long. Uh, it's not a big concern. Barely walked with this much gear. Yeah, I see. Okay. We'll just chill in here for now. And then uh, we'll move out again when it's a bit better. The ravine does have quite a few storms. Cook up some rabbit. Very cool. Come on, little fire. Let's also drop all our curing stuff, right? Excellent. Oh, that's good. It's quite a fatty. We're just going to eat everything as we cook it. We're going to eat both rabbits all the way. Our rabbit meat is very low in fat, so it doesn't really feed us too well. Now I also want to harvest the hides and such, so we are going to cook these steaks in the pots, uh, so they can last a bit longer. Yeah, just like that. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Uh, momentarily we'll pick these up while we harvest the rabbits. Okay, perfect. That means we can almost move on. Let's quickly have a look. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. How long's our fire? Um, let's see here. Actually, I just want to get it long enough so we can. harvest this gut. Uh, maybe we can, yeah. We'll do it like that. 
Then we'll make it. Perfect. Okay, let's grab the stuff, let's move to the other side. And we'll lighten the load by drinking some water also. And I think we'll swap torches before we cro cross the bridge. Just want to have a look up here. Nothing here today. Sometimes there's like a container or something like that there, but today not so much. Okay. So just here I think is good. How do we do this again? Okay, something like that. Don't feel like that was the way that it was intended, but that's okay. Ooh, this also makes me so nervous. Glad you can't slip in this game. Otherwise we would have slipped there and just fallen backwards and gone tumbling down the cliff. Okay, good. And our guaranteed deer carcass is here. So we'll just plop down a fire here between uh, the steer carcass and the tree. Come on, little fire. Why didn't that walk? Maybe while this is defrosting, we can. Uh, create some of the teas so long. Like we don't have to cook them yet, but we can at least craft them. Oh, that range is still very far. I was hoping they'd fix that as well in the patch that dropped today. Well, I feel it was broken, but maybe I'm... Maybe that's how it was intended. Alright, there's the third one. Good. Alright, let's push to the cave while that... Uh, here is defrosting. <laughs> Put them in the microwave to defrost. Ok, 
Okay, and here's our uh, evening meal. We'll come get this meal in a moment. There it is. Hopefully the weather stays like this so we can harvest and cook both of these as well. So what I did here is also the root that I am thinking of using in the uh, crafted items only challenge or the neo native challenge as by the time you get out of ravine you have enough for uh, most of the rabbit and deer items already which means our legs head feet and hands would be covered Okay, and we'll come arrange this stuff a bit later. For now, I'm just gonna throw it all down here. Is that all of it? Yeah. Okay. No. Why are we still stinky? Is that the. Okay, that's the rabbit. Uh, maybe we'll drop the rabbit here by the deer. Good. We'll come get that in a moment. Good. Uh, we went fast enough so our fire survived. Hey, sweet Trevory, how you doing? Glad to see you online. As you can see, we made it to the ravine. Uh, we're still in the same run. We have a boatload of things curing. Uh, I'm really happy with that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm doing great. I uh, had a good day at work. Now playing a game. That's awesome, right? Uh, so yeah, things are going great. The run's also going really good. Uh, we're still on our way to the forge. Uh, yeah, I picked up some stinky stuff right outside the ravine and I was like, haha, nothing can touch me now. <laughs> Maybe some overconfidence for a moment we had to walk up the creek where the bear is but we're all safe nothing happened yeah excellent uh, that's the way to end the day for me I know that seems counterproductive what I just did but I need to get these both in pots uh, so I can sit and harvest the rest of this deer without worrying that my food is going to burn. Why I'm getting the echoey sounds when we're so far from a cave. Huh. Guess the whole ravine is echoey.
Okay, let's get to the next one. Yeah, so this next one we got the deer and we dropped a rabbit carcass there as well. So that's awesome. Hope this weather holds out, I'm not sure. The ravine can get quite windy sometimes. Do we have enough of these? Got three, I think that's okay for now. Don't want to be bogged down by a bunch of uh, bandages. <laughs> throw on some lamp oil. Perfect. Yeah, awesome. Is close enough, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, and while we wait Damn, and now we're too far from the entrance to even grab a torch and be wind covered. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's such as life. And I think an hour is too long to sit and quarter to bring him in. It's fine, we'll make it through the night. some rest here in the corner. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's do one hour and see if it uh, gets better, otherwise we have to start a fire. It did not get better. <laughs> Freezing. 
least these days I'm remembering to make my fires in the cold section of the cave. Forgot about that in the beginning. Uh, definitely makes a difference. Seeing that we're not going to sleep for long periods of time, uh, I'm going to drink one birch bark before we sleep, just so we get some improved health regen. Okay, good. Let's do the short stints then. It looks quite windy out there, so we'll just uh, do another hour, see if it calms down, and maybe we can go grab some breakfast outside. Wow, that uh, subtitle text is quite different. Patch. I don't know, something about it felt different. I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> no, this is too windy, right? I think we're going to be in trouble if we try that. Hmm. Sucks, we're blasting through our coal a little bit fast, but no. Sometimes that's how life is. And I'd rather make the sacrifice now and stay healthy than take risks too much. Come on, little fire. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Okay, so let's give this guy a, a moment to defrost. Just pop them in the microwave. And we can go grab some sticks and some bark and some of these while we wait. Oh, lucky day.
<laughs> Shame. Okay, we'll do one more, and then we'll start cooking up the deer. Oh, I didn't really mean to micro-harvest that, I actually just wanted to grab the whole piece. Okay, doing alright. We're running slightly low on food now. Might just leave those guts. I think we have enough for the moment, to be honest. Alright. While we wait for the water, we'll uh, finish these last few teas. Uh, finish cooking them up. Cooking three, yes. Very nice. Moving up in the world. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, we've hung out in the ravine for way long enough. Oh, we still had this. This would actually be really useful. Let's cook it up quick. Oopsie. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. And the pots will make it go a little bit faster. Oh, that was a silly mistake. I think we actually had enough fire for it. I guess we score a few more torches out of the deal. I'll take any sil silver lining right now. <laughs> okay, good. Let's grab our stinky gear and Head to the dam. We'll go drop all the stinky stuff in the trailer. Maybe in the dam itself. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Let's see if our wolfy friend is on the other side or not.
Okay, off to Mystery Lake. My absolute favorite region. Hmm, it sounds like our deer carcasses may be spawned today. I haven't had it spawn here in a few runs, so I wasn't even expecting it. Yeah, look at that. Alright. Scooter. Calm yourself. Nice. Okay, let's go drop off all our stinky stuff. Quite a lot now. So four of these. Hmm, eight of those, nice. That's quite a collection we got going here. Nice, there they are. Two of these. Okay, very good. So I'd like to be able to make a bow the moment we forged.
<laughs> Not a very big deer we have here, but hey, anything is better than nothing. Huh, really cool. That also reduces the time taken. Oh man. Okay, well, at least it cooked. At least it cooked. Hmm. Okay, it's not that cold yet. Maybe we can sneak in one of these. Yeah, easy. Even the other one as well. Oh, okay. This wind was just there to blow out our fire quick. <laughs> Nothing more. I think I'll search a little piece of it, uh, this up or down, while we have some daylight. It's just gonna get worse from here. Nice, nice, nice. Found ourselves a lantern. Let's go. strategy through here is usually just to keep uh, on the left or on the right. I just follow a wall all the way from one end to the next. Oh, obviously I didn't go down there otherwise we would do the entire dam. I just want to do the upper part for now. I'll take it. do the same type of thing in uh, caves if I feel I'm gonna get lost or if I'm looking for coal then I'm guaranteed to cover most of it like the only exception to that is if there's some center section because then you'll never touch that It's like 17, 18, 15. Right, so we're beyond halfway tired. That's good. Oh, score. Okay, we'll have that before bed. That is the 
perfect bedtime snack. <laughs> A whole jug of maple syrup. <laughs> can imagine your insides don't feel too nice uh, after chugging down an entire jug of maple this syrup. Oh, nice. I'm really glad for the patch that came out today. I think it uh, fixes quite a few long-standing issues. These are the uh, posters you can buy from Babbitt's Boutique. They're really nice. They're very, very nice. I got myself one of these. So frustrating that that thing goes the wrong way. There are quite a few uh, progress bars that go what I would consider the wrong way. It's a strange choice. Let's quickly head upstairs because this area is quite tiny. You can get through it quick. charcoal <laughs> right so we are running as you can see slightly out of daylight now uh, but I think we'll continue with the lantern we might as well use it right uh, don't let it go to waste. I don't know why I had to think so long about that. I drink almost anything about that. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to carry around another kilogram worth of book. Wow, two food items right next to each other. That's amazing.
Okay, that's this entire upper section clear. Nice. Hm, look at our beautiful collection. Very nice. Uh, let's put more of the crappy food down here. Or the roulette food. Okay, that's our roulette pile. Let's drink some water. Hmm, and what will we drop here? How is it looking? Okay, so it's just because we're tired mostly. Well, let's drop the books. Hmm. I also want to drop a. Well, we only have one tiny T of these, uh, but I wanted to drop one, two, three of these tiny T's here, and actually three of the other as well. Okay, but we'll sort that out in a moment. Uh, let's just drop the single one. Oh wait, there is another. leave some other stuff behind here. Uh, just some things. Yeah, right here in front of the door. Uh, are these better than what we have right now? Yeah, they will be. Okay, but they're not right now, so they're just heavy. Okay, so let's drop this, and these, and this. We'll come pick it up again. Uh, just some big items, and some torches. Well, that's confusing. <laughs> Because it's still too early, we'll never sleep through the night like this. Oh, okay, I just uh, thought of if we get stuck on the other side with an aurora, we're gonna need this. So there's no bed on that side and we can't get over the cables here in the center. So yeah, if there is a nighttime aurora, oh, like this, we can't get across the cables. Okay, well, guess that answers our question, right? <laughs> okay, so let's uh, not shock and die. Just be careful. That's so strange, I thought it would be on this side too. Okay, either way. Uh, nothing to fret about. Uh, let's quickly... We have good enough health that we can play some good old roulette now. Still feeling good. Let's just push it all the way. Still feeling good.
Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, we're fully rested. Sounds kind of crappy outside. It's not quite light enough to do anything. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just step out, step in, let the game save, and then I'm gonna call it here. I think that is great progress for one night again. Made it all the way from coastal to the dam. Uh, we maintained well fed along the way. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff curing now. I think that's really good. Uh, next we need to just loop the lower dam and maybe get ourselves some scrap metal at least some additional scrap metal, we have some already and then move further towards the forge good uh, let me have a look at who's online and we'll give someone a little raid sell the other four five sell the other four uh, okay, let's see who is playing the long dark. Uh, okay, there's big fish, there is uh, cats, uh, Athenon, and a lot of other people I have never seen before. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Glad the game is still doing well. Alright, let's stop at Fish's channel. The preppers make the bowl. Uh, let me just copy his username because I will not. <laughs> I don't want to mess that up. Okay. So, Raid has been created. I want to say thank you so, so much for joining. I hope you have a beautiful evening further. Uh, until next time.